I am going to make the pumpkin pie today and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to preserve that pumpkin puree for long-term storage. It's the freezer. That's how. I have together all of the ingredients that I'm going to need. Here we have two and a fourth cups of all-purpose flour. We're going to need one teaspoon of salt. And here, this is two full sticks or one cup of real butter. I find that using real butter in a pie recipe is much better than using anything like a blue bonnet or a butter-like spread. We like real butter. And I'm also going to need eight to ten tablespoons of ice cold water. We want to keep the pie crust as cold as possible. I am using my Fimey food processor. This is a large capacity food processor. This thing's awesome. So we're going to start by first adding the salt to our flour. And we need one teaspoon of salt. We're just going to give that a little mix. We are now going to pour the flour into the food processor. I'm going to put the lid on, and we are going to start by taking our very cold butter and putting it into the food processor a couple cubes at a time. All right, this is the consistency we're looking for. It's kind of sand texture. It's crumbly, pea-sized. If I were to take it with my hands, squeeze it, it would hold its shape. That is exactly what we want. All right, now that I've shown you, I'm gonna replace the lid. The next step is the water. We are going to add the water in one half tablespoon at a time. The reason I'm doing a half tablespoon is because I could not find my one tablespoon. We're going to count up to eight, between eight and ten um, tablespoons of water. It could take more, it could take less. As soon as the dough starts to come together, go away from the sides and form a dough ball, that's how we know that we're done. I would say that this has successfully pulled away from the sides and has formed into a dough ball. Now we form that into a dough ball. We're going to cut that ball in half. Well, I am out of plastic wrap, so normally you would wrap these in plastic and pop them in the fridge for about an hour, but I'm going to put them in these Ziploc bags. Same concept. I just shaped these so that they would stand up in the fridge. Now that the pie crust or the pie dough, whatever you want to call it, now that it is in the fridge, it's going to stay in there for about an hour to two hours, uh, but you could leave it in there for as long as four days. So if you wanted to batch make a whole bunch of pie crusts um, and stick them in the fridge, you know, so that you wouldn't have to if you're planning on making a whole bunch of pies, Thanksgiving is soon. It's almost fall. The only downside about this pie recipe is that it does not freeze well. It is, I use real butter, and if you use real butter, you can freeze it. However, I have noticed whenever I'm using real butter, there's a curdiness whenever it um, thaws. 
and it just doesn't make a good pie crust. So, so I will batch make a whole bunch of pie crusts, whether I'm gonna use them for dessert pies or dinner pies or what have you. Um, pop them in the fridge and then pull them out whenever I'm ready to use them. And now that I have so much pumpkin and we have bananas and we have a whole bunch of other fruit and things um, that are coming in, we can make a lot of pies. Also, this would be a really good recipe for chicken pot pie or turkey pot pie or other savory dinner pies. delicious but not burning the chicken. Everybody has eaten the pumpkin pie. It is half gone already. It is absolutely delicious. Very sweet, very filling. If you make this recipe, I would seriously recommend thin slices. It's, it hit the spot. Well, I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you would like to make this pumpkin pie recipe, I will leave the link down below in the description. It'll take you directly to my website where I will have a printable recipe ready for you. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. And if you're not already, consider subscribing to Hollow Acres Homestead. We'll see you next time.